Hi, my name is Cameron. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at Sterile Technique for the Surgical Technologist. Step one, putting on your personal protective equipment. We're going to put on our cap first. And if you have long hair, make sure you tuck it in. And then we'll put on our booties. Cover our shoes from any blood. And then putting on our mask. And then on to step two, getting your gowning kit. We will now collect our gowns and our gloves. Before we scrub, we're going to put our gown on our sterile mayo stand. One flap at a time, you'll open it, put it in between your fingers, like so. Without touching your sterile field, you want to put it on there. Along with your gloves. Let's go scrub. Alright, next step is going to be to grab a scrub brush with iodine. I'm just going to open it and put it on top of the seat. Next, she's going to set the temperature for as hot as she can stand it. Turn the water on and perform the initial hand wash. After the hand wash, she's going to pick her nail with the nail pick on top of the brush. Keep in mind to keep your body away from the face and to not touch it at all. Once that is completed, she will grab the brush and scrub her nails again. Now she's starting the hand scrub. I'm going to go over each plane 10 times. And on the hands there's four planes and then the arms have three regions. She's also going to make sure she doesn't go over any surface twice.
Once you are finished with the elbow, move on and repeat the process with the other hand and arm. Once rinsing, you're going to want to keep the fingers up and have the water drip properly. So it's going to go towards your elbow instead of towards your hand. Because if it drips towards your hand again, it'll be great. fingers up the whole time and do not touch anything. First step in putting our sterile gown is drying our hands starting with the fingers and moving toward the elbow. Pick up the gown without touching the mail stand and drop it in front of us, making sure not to put our arms above our head or drop them down. We want to make sure our fingers stay inside the gown. To glove, we start with our bigger size gloves first. A member of the non-sterile team will come and tie up the gown. After you gown yourself, you will then begin to gown the other sterile members in the operating room, starting with the surgeon who will first dry their hands, open their gown facing towards them, assist them in putting on their gown and drop it at their shoulders. A non-sterile team member can then come over and tie theirs in the back. Assist the surgeon by pulling their fingers out of the cuffs just a little. And begin to put their gloves on, always starting with the right hand. Open the glove up wide so the surgeon can fit his hand in. Now when doing the left hand, the other team member can assist you when putting their glove on. Alright, and then we will begin to tie. Pull the short side out, turn around.